It's very difficult to overcome the censorship. It's inside of us. Well, you see, when I want to write about a human body, I can't write it in Persian. Nobody is beside me. But when I want to write about love, or human body, or even I can say that sex, I can say it in Persian. I can write it in Persian. The, the Islamic government is not here right now, but I am with myself, with all my past, all my tradition, and all our custom. If I say this word, or if I say this sentence, what will happen to my friend, my student, my family in my country? Because I am here, nobody can bother me, but they are in Iran. And if I say anything that government doesn't like, then they may bother one of my friends or, or one of my students. And so, actually, we are not really free. I am not. I like to be, but I am not. Do you know that I came from south of Iran? And when my book published my novel, even in Tehran, in capital of my country, many people doesn't, didn't understand many, many words. So it needs double translation. From, if you want to, to, to uh, translate my, my, my story or my novel, you have to be a skillful in not only language, but know a lot about tradition custom, especially south of Iran, and then skillful in Persian language, in Farsi, knows, knows many, uh, many words, many, many items, many ceremonies that I mentioned with one word in south of Iran or different part of country, and then know English. It is difficult to find such person because I was traveling all around the country for writing. I was born in south of Iran, but I, I didn't just write about that part. I have a lot of a story from different parts of my country. There is not a, a, a clear definition about Gothic in my country. So when I came here, and I read many books, and I, I, I was in many workshops, Gothic literature workshop, I understood that this, this genre, actually, without, without knowing about it, uh, I follow this genre. Because my writing is about our society, our people, during, mostly after the revolution, and whatever has been happened to us is scary. <laughs> so I'm not talking about a building that is, about, that is a kind of, when, when you talk about Gothic history in my country, always people think that, okay, there is a castle or there is a huge building and ghosts. No. It's a full of horror and fear and uh, uh, scareness. And that was a great discovery for me that I try to know more and know more, more and more about the Gothic literature. And he knew that there is urban Gothic literature, there is many kind of Gothic literature. So, then after that I, 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 I started creative writing class online and I started telling to my students that what is Gothic literature, what is not, and 
and what is grotesque. And I want to write a book about it. In complete it, uh, introduce the Gothic literature completely to, to Iranian readers. Oh my God, they already did it. Oh, many of my books are on internet and they downloaded it and I can't do anything. Because as you know, in my country, there is no copyright. They, they easily translate, it, they translate the, the story from other countries and publish it. The, our government, uh, our country didn't accept copyright yet. And I think we, as a writer, Iranian writer, that we respect freedom and work and time of others, we have to push the government accept it. And it's very difficult. We are here. And we know that the t t our life, our time is important. When a writer or a painter works, then he spend her life and the life has a price when you download one book one story it means that you don't pay attention to the life to the time yes you see why because i read to be alive Reading is my life, and writing is my life. When I started writing, I didn't, there was no hope for publication. My first story, my first short collection story, when I published after revolution, the first year of revolution, immediately burned and banned. And after that, I told myself, okay, write for yourself without any hope for publication. And not only me, many writers in Iran write without any hope. Sometimes I think a story chooses us to narrate. It is not us that find a story for writing. You have been chosen by your story, your scene, your character, your everybody. We are a tool. Sometimes I say we are a tool. Sometimes I say just as a pen, we write our story on the page of time. You know? On the page of our life, like a pen. We are a pen and nothing else. I don't know. <laughs> It's a very difficult challenge.